glass and welcome back to London. I have returned after our epic road trip to Monaco and through Italy and it seems like I got back just at the right time because this week is the London Motor Show and this year I'm going to give you guys a bit of a sneak preview but instead of heading straight to the site and giving you some shots of the cars being loaded in I'm hopefully going to do something a little bit different. I've come down to HR Owen VIP services. I'm about to collect their Aston Martin Vanquish Volante and I'm going to drive around and take you guys to some of the best dealerships in London and show you the cars they're going to be displaying at this year's London Motor Show. I feel very Shmi 150 right now. Before we go anywhere, I think it's essential that we put the roof down. Button to do roof. Here we go. Cheers! Man, these cars sound good! And so the very first dealership I've come to is Maserati Knightsbridge, South Ken? Maserati. <laughs> so obviously Maserati's sort of newest car is the Levante. They're gonna have plenty of those on show at the motor show. But before I head inside and show you some of them, I wanna show you this very, very nice Gran Turismo, dark blue with carbon everywhere. <laughs> I know it's not quite a ski box, but I feel like the roof rack on this Levante is something the Strad man would like. He was after a 4x4 a while ago, he bought a Jeep, didn't he? But Strad man, you missed out, dude. I think I'm going to leave uh, Maserati behind. There's some very cool other Levantes in there. Um, I do. I think Maserati is so pretty, aren't they? Anyway, if you didn't know, uh, Lamborghini London is right next door to Maserati. So let's head there next. So here we are, and crazily, this is the first time I've ever been inside Lamborghini London. Um, I must have walked past or photographed cars through the window about 10 bazillion times, but never really had a reason to come inside. So uh, it's quite a weird and unique sensation. However, it's a bit of a fail because I literally just missed the Aventador S, which is going to be on display at the motor show. Um, I'm not quite sure how I buggered up those timings so badly. Let's blame it on jet lag still from uh, returning from the Monaco trip. So yeah, whilst I was in Maserati, the Aventador S started up, went off, it's getting some paint protection film applied before it heads to the show. So if you want to see an Aventador S, if you haven't seen one yet, um, I haven't actually got up close to one apart from at Geneva. Um, so yeah, if you haven't seen one in the flesh, go down to the Lambo stand um, at the motor show and you will see an event or rest. That's pretty exciting. Anyway, let me show you what is in the store still. an Aventador S. I really hope that's not an omen for the day. Uh, we've still got to check out Bentley Rolls-Royce before heading to the actual motor show itself, but I think it's, I think it's lunchtime. I'm going to say it's lunchtime because I'm bloody starving. I've only just noticed the number plate on the Vanquish, 007 HRO. <laughs> James Bond and Aston Martins forever linked together. That was 
my attempt to live a new and healthy lifestyle following all the pasta and all the pizza in Italy. Uh, right, lunch over, let's make our way into Mayfair, find Rolls Royce and Bentley. Oh, speak of which. It's clouded over a bit now, so I'm gonna keep the roof up. But I have to say, getting back into one of these vanquishes, I know, I know Shmi now owns one, so you're all very familiar with them, but... They are so nice, it's like everyday cruisers. So nice. Well, that worked out pretty perfectly because the next two duty ships I'm here to visit are Rolls Royce and Bentley. Now, if you saw my Q&A the other day, you will know that I actually really like the Bentayga. And there are two in here, so I'm getting a little bit carried away, spending more time sitting in the Bentayga exploring it than actually filming it. Whilst it might seem a little sort of straightforward for a video concept, I actually really enjoy visiting dealerships. It's like a really bad addiction that I have whenever I go into a nice dealership. I want to buy a car. Even cars I'm like, I've never thought about. If suddenly I wanted a Rolls Royce Dawn a second ago. I still want a Bentayga. Still want a Continental. It's a dangerous old business, but it's, it's good fun just to check out cars and everything smells nice and feels nice and so clean. Anyway, let's focus back on the London Motor Show. I've given you a sneak peek at some of the dealers who are gonna be displaying cars at the show, but there was so much else going on. So I reckon we do now head to Battersea Park, to the motor show site, and see if we can check out what's going on there. Welcome to the London Motor Show and my very attractive high viz. I'm wearing this because the London Motor Show actually isn't open. It is still a work in progress. I'm about 48 hours early. The show doesn't open for another couple of days, which means that the event space is largely empty. However, over the next few days, it is going to be transformed with over 150 cars getting inside that building, including that damn Aventador S that I missed this morning. What fail that was. Anyway, Yanni's gonna be here. Yanni's got his own stand. He's gonna be doing a live wrap attack on one of the days. There are interactive displays. There are cars that you can walk up to, get in, touch, feel. All the dealerships which I visited this morning are gonna have cars on stands in there amongst a whole load of others. There are jet skis, there are quad bikes. It is all gonna be kicking off. I'm about to head inside in my lovely high vis and meet up with Stephen from the show. He's gonna walk me around, talk me around the space, tell me what's gonna be on display where. For now, as I say, I'm just gonna head inside and use my imagination as to what it will be in a few days. So this space is literally gonna be transformed in, yeah. so we are today, it's Tuesday uh, for it's the, Tuesday today. to break the fourth wall, <laughs> it's Tuesday today. Yeah. When does the show open on the show, op show opens on the May the 4th. Okay. May the 4th be with you, as May I keep saying. Uh, two o'clock, um, uh, till so six. Quite um, a few cars to fit in before then, then. Yeah, it's, yeah. Gonna, it's gonna be a very expensive traffic jam <laughs> for the next couple of days. <laughs> No, it's an easy thing for me to say because uh, 
I've been invited to come down and check out this entire show in an Aston Martin, but I do think it's going to be really cool. Um, the fact that it is, I mean, London needs a motor show, right? This is the second year that it's been brought back, um, I think since 2008. And it's just good, like, we're such a car city. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Anyway, sort of preview teaser clip. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.